Is Blender still the king of 3D software, or are new contenders finally taking the crown? 2025 is shaping up to be one of the most disruptive years for 3D artists, with AI-driven tools, real-time collaboration, and new software breaking onto the scene. Today, we're going deep into the state of 3D software in 2025, comparing Blender with some of its biggest challengers, and figuring out which tools are worth your time. For years, Blender has been the go-to choice for indie creators, hobbyists, and even professionals who want a powerful, free alternative to industry giants like Maya and 3ds Max. But as technology evolves, so do the tools available to us. And this year, we're seeing some major shifts in the industry. The real question is, should you still be using Blender, or is it time to start learning something new? Let's start with AI. Whether you love it or hate it, AI is transforming 3D workflows, making it easier than ever to generate high-quality assets in minutes. One of the most impressive new tools is NVIDIA's Cosmos, an AI-powered 3D generation system that can create ultra-realistic environments and objects with minimal human input. Imagine needing a detailed cyberpunk city for a scene. Rather than modeling every building by hand, Cosmos can generate a fully textured, realistic city in seconds. It's not just asset creation, either. Cosmos integrates physics simulations and lighting calculations, drastically cutting down render times. For large-scale projects, this could be a game-changer. Blender is also making moves in AI. While it's not as advanced as Cosmos yet, Blender's 5.0 release later this year is rumored to include AI-assisted modeling, where the software predicts and refines shapes as you sculpt. Right now, there are add-ons like Dream Textures and AI Render that introduce AI-assisted workflows, but native AI integration could push Blender even further into the future. But let's not just talk about AI. One of Blender's biggest weaknesses has always been real-time collaboration. If you're working on a team, Blender's lack of cloud-based, multi-user editing can be a nightmare. Meanwhile, Autodesk's Fusion 360 has been steadily improving its collaboration tools, and the 2025 updates make it even easier for multiple users to work on a model at the same time. Think Google Docs, but for 3D design. This is where Blender is still lagging behind. If you're a solo artist, this isn't a deal-breaker, but for teams working on large projects, Fusion 360's real-time editing could be a major reason to switch. That said, the Blender community has been working on cloud-based solutions, and we may see some exciting third-party options later this year. Now, let's talk about something that could shake things up even more, the Winter of Quality 2025 initiative for Blender. In late 2024, the Blender Foundation announced a major shift in focus. Rather than rushing out flashy new features, they're prioritizing stability, performance, and bug fixes. This means that upcoming releases like Blender 4.4, 4.5 LTS, and 5.0 will be more polished than ever, addressing over 500 reported issues and improving overall reliability. If you've ever had Blender crash mid-project, this is great news. And while Blender is free, funding is always a concern. That's where the Join the 2% campaign comes in. This initiative encourages just 2% of Blender's massive user base to donate, ensuring long-term sustainability for development. It's a smart move. Blender's biggest advantage has always been its thriving, passionate community. While Autodesk and NVIDIA rely on corporate funding, Blender is powered by its users and that's something no other software can match. So, where does this leave us in 2025? If you're looking for AI-assisted modeling, NVIDIA's Cosmos is leading the pack, and it's only going to get more powerful. If real-time collaboration is crucial to your workflow, Fusion 360 is making huge strides. But if you want a well-rounded, powerful, and, most importantly, free 3D tool, Blender is still an incredible choice, especially with the upcoming 5.0 update focusing on stability and refinement. The real takeaway? There's no single best 3D software. The smartest move is to build a toolkit that works for your needs. Blender is still a powerhouse, but combining it with AI-driven tools like Cosmos or using Fusion 360 for teamwork could give you the ultimate workflow in 2025. So, are you sticking with Blender, or are these new tools catching your eye? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you want more deep dives into the latest trends in 3D design, make sure to subscribe. The world of 3D modeling is evolving fast, and you won't want to miss what's coming next.